Yeah. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi, Cotton Hi. Sophie from Stylecast. Hi. So nice to meet you. Congratulations. And it's incredible choice you do. Hi. Her job. I just have one question for you. If you had to take Oz out for a night on the town, where would you take him? Oh, probably to, um, probably to, uh, Narcissist Anonymous meeting. <laughs> Any version of a 12-step program could only be beneficial to someone like us. I, yeah. Pizza shit isn't me. He's, he's, he's dangerous, hearing things. Hey, hey, Colin, Lamar with the movie blog. One question, uh, your character in The Penguin seems to walk a fine line between villainy and vulnerability, right? So how did you approach balancing those two? For I felt like, you know, in the writing, there was so much backstory that was explored in this because we had eight hours as opposed to the five or six scenes I had in the film. You know, that wasn't my, it wasn't the purpose of the character in the film to get to know him or understand his motives as such. Even though I think you could see in the film that greed was one of his things, um, his accoutrement. But yeah, I knew we were going to get into Lauren LaFranc and her team of writers just wrote extraordinary scenes that were flashback scenes, but also scenes in the present that kind of referred to certain things that happened in his childhood. So it was, yeah, I mean, look, uh, Oz is someone who is not to be trifled with and he's got, he can be extraordinarily cruel. It's a descent into psychosis, really, I mean, the show in many ways. I say that not lightly, but there's also no justification for so many of the things that he does. But you can kind of see how somebody who might have been, I don't know, might have been born a little bit broken already. But if he was, that break was agitated and was magnified by certain things that took place in his early years. Thank you. Thank you. You just hope it doesn't last one. But uh, in, the, in the Batman, you see it's canonical that Oz uh, speaks Spanish and speaks Spanish again in the Penguin. Those little details are such a cool thing that yeah. we get to see connect. What for you was your favorite thing connecting the Batman to the Penguin? The film to the thing. Yeah. I, I was more, not even the things that connected, if I could divert and say, it was more the stuff that I got to experience in you. Mm. Like um, working with Kristen as Sophia, she's extraordinary. The relationship with Oz and his mom, I mean, obviously with Renzi as well, who plays Vic, the relationship there is really interesting, but there was something so anchoring and so kind of deeply meaningful about the relationship between uh, Francis, Oz's mom, who's so wonderfully played by Dee Dee, and myself. As Oz, I loved those scenes. Anytime I got to, I mean, I loved all of it, but there was something so heartfelt about the scenes. And I think that's where you see Oz at his most vulnerable with his mother. And there's so much carnage around that anytime you got to see Oz's true vulnerability was always interesting to try and access. Thank you. This way, can you bring out the